Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So me and Sage decided that we'd set ourselves a little bit of a challenge. We've both built large ships before, but this time, we thought we'd build half a ship each, and actually see what the ship would look like. Now, we've got a giant wall dividing us, so hopefully we won't see what's going on. So these ships are going to look rather interesting, and once they're connected, it's going to look even more interesting. The only thing that we're going to keep the same is the corridor that runs down the middle. Or should I be putting those in? Uh, no, I'll, I'll, I'll do all engine parts, alright? Alright. You do the front, so you might want to do some, like, observation and all that stuff. You, you know what you do. Already. And I'm yeah, just going to yeah, yeah. do... I'm have do some fun with glass. Some fun ed engineering at the back here that <laughs> it'll be rather interesting. <laughs> yes, and the only real rules with this are you cannot go any closer to the dividing wall than the section we already have set up here. And we basically have this section here so the entrance to our hallways will be matching. We could actually change the hallway shape after that if mm -hmm. we like and have complete ridiculousness, but there's actually no other real rules. So anyway, let's uh, start building, shall we? Yes, and no peeking. That might yes, no it. peeking. There's little tiny peaky holes, but those are mainly just so we can get back yeah. and forth quicker if we really find ourselves an in incident. To. Yeah, right. If there is an incident, well, yes. I'm gonna get started. So this is what I've come up with my half of the ship. Now, there was a few different things that I was not too sure on, and I'll show you the inside a little bit later on. But we've got this massive gun that's just a bit of a standard at the moment for that, the proper mounted gun that we'll be able to have on the deck later on. But until we mount the ships together, it would be a bit unstable on a rotor, so we've got quite a lot of thrusters because we're going to need them to power this ship alone and Sage's front half of the ship, so we've got thrusters pretty much everywhere under these little wings. I've tried to make it flow through the ship as best as I can, so we've got some lines, we've got some breakups. I've also put a few antennas on the side to act as just basically added protection. So we've got some landing pads for the bays, and that is pretty much it so far, so I'm going to continue working. So we've finally reached the stage where we're actually ready to reveal our ships. We're going to delete the wall in the middle, and we're going to assess what the others built, and then we'll try sticking it together. So you ready, Sage? Uh, yes, I believe I am. Go ahead and delete the wall. Oh, you delete the wall. <laughs> oh, Alright, I'll delete the wall. I'm just going to double check to make sure the wall's not attached to my ship. It doesn't I'm really appear to be okay. See, I can see a little peek okay, through okay, the wall. Okay. okay, deleting the wall. Three... Two, one. Okay. Oh. Okay, there's a part nice. that's missing. Wait, wait, what happened? Oh, sorry, there's two two parts that didn't get deleted. Okay, let's have a look what we got here. Oh, oh we, got, we got a standard set. I've seen this sort of stage design before. That's similar to a lot of stuff I do, yeah. Hmm. Of course it is, though. Yeah, I it's, get, that, um, it's that individual style, isn't it? Yeah, it's a very modular in look. Mm. A lot of rooms here, dozens and dozens of rooms. Yeah, lots of glass as well. Mm -hmm. Let's have a go around the front part so I can have a look at the... Um, so, this is, so so what sort of sections have you got inside here? Uh, I got the main hall, I've got sort of like a few... Oh, it's hard to explain, but I've got the main control room there, I've got an overlook under it. Mm. The windows I'm hovering by right now are actually sort of in a hallway that with the stairs, but it also works as a good observation point Very if nice. you like. Uh, along here, I have two floors of windows for just looking out. You could retrofit one of the rooms to be a briefing area or just, you know, civilian right, whatever. Nice. And then the bottom one could be eatery or whatnot. And then uh, along this, these are basically just all as offices or bedrooms or whatever you want to turn them into. They're just set up basically as bedrooms right now. Each of them has a bed in it and a desk playing all along. And there's two floors of that. And then there's also mirrored on the inside with a main large hallway. And then we have down here the uh, nice huge um, landing bay area with these nice slanted bits. So if you I could, if really you could summarize with. your ship, what, do you, what would you call it? What sort of job do you think it serves? Uh, I, I built it mainly as a civilian ship for tourism. Hmm. Yeah, I've so noticed it's, it's, it's like going to be very hard tourist. to connect up the corridors to my... Yeah. Well, you should still have that main small corridor hook up, yes? Yes, the main corridor hookup is in place. Okay, so we just line those up and we're good. Right, we'll have to try that, right. Any questions about but, mine? Oh, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and take a look at yours since I just buzzed around mine again. Um, I wish this bloody block... Can you remove this bloody tile so the shadow's not on my ship? Because it's really annoying me. What? There, there's, there's no block for me. <laughs> oh. Your ship is completely in light for me, my friend. That sucks. There's a part still there for me. Okay. Oh. So, so on top we've got a massive cannon, 
That's yeah, just, it's just a bit of a mock up until we can actually get us stuck together. Like <laughs> until that. rotors work. Basically. Yeah, until rotors work a little bit better. It's a bit of a mock up. And then uh, below, we've got some hangar, just basic hangar bays that are just used for transport for cargo. And then inside, we've got a load of cargo areas. And then on the lower deck, right below, you'll see there's some hangar doors that take us to the fighter bays. Ah, uh, yes. And uh, then we actually have the cockpit. That's a style that I quite like. It's a bit like um, you know a proper ship sort of cockpit. Yeah, where it proper ship or a star destroyer. Yes, very yeah. much so. Nice, yeah. ob nice ability to look. So we basically have two bridges. We have the front mm. bridge and then this main battle so we bridge. Can, basically, we can use yours to ram into things. <laughs> People can board out of it. Uh. But um, yeah, so I, I don't know if the engine's gonna be powerful enough to pull it and, and move it, but we'll, we'll have to try. Yes, it's gonna be a pretty big ship. I, I, ooh, eh, but, yeah. Engines at the back, there is a fair amount there. Yeah, there's a fair it amount. It might get of us engines. going. It might. I think it might get us going, but we'll have to we'll have to see. So um, let's try hooking these up anyway. So if you want to copy uh, yes, and paste your ship really close to mine, and then we'll do a little bit of smoothing. Already. And see what we so, get. Oh yeah, the bottom of mine sort of has this almost insect-like area too. By the oh, way. let's so. have a look at that. The bottom of mine is just I just uh, well I just tried to put some different parts in it just to to pad it out a little bit because I don't mm. I don't like I don't like having a flat bottom, but I don't like having something that's crazy sticking out like you've done in yours. <laughs> well, <laughs> your light your lights really bring yours alive. Sadly, my lights won't work yeah. on the sides. They wouldn't they didn't turn oh. the color I wanted it to turn. They just wouldn't work. Damn. All right. Well, uh, I'm gonna go into spectator mode that way I can fly through things and maneuver them more easily. Mm -hmm. So everyone, stand back. Spectator right. mode engaged. Yeah, the, from, from this up. perspective, though, this looks like quite a badass ship, to be honest. I'm not. I'm, it actually does sort of fit together, doesn't it? it do, yeah, it's surprising. Like we happen to somehow get around yeah. the same <laughs> slant for the top. <laughs> yeah. No, okay. No, let's I, see. Uh, very lucky. Very let's lucky. Let's see. Can I uh, line this up to the center point? Right. Oh, there's the center hallway. Yeah, it looks badass. Okay, lining up, grabbing mine. Which needs to I don't know, the colour thing, even the combination of colours work seems to work. Yeah, it seems well. to work pretty well. Alright, now trying to move mine into position. I'm gonna slow myself down, that way I'm not buzzing about it. Mach 3, trying to line these up. And that should do it. We lined up? You clipping yep, it? Yep, I'm pasting. Okay. Okay, there's Oosh. a bit of a lag, I can feel it. I can feel it coming! I'm it's connecting it. Is it connected? That was a miss. Yeah, they're connecting. What? They look fine here. Did you line them up through the corridor? Yes, I did. Okay, okay. Hmm. The corridor is perfectly lined up. Okay, I'm going to fly out. So oh, your no, ship's lower. Look. Your ship's basically like a lower. Oh, lower no. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, it doesn't look as so good as it. If, no, you know, if we, if, why don't we just, why don't we just, um, you know, slide it up a little bit, so it looks a little bit better. Oh, uh, alright, um, just give me one second. So a successful At least on top. Merge. The bottom, I'm sure, is a bit funky. Hmm. I think it looks really nice, to be honest. I think with the merge, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know, the colour thing is something that, I mean, people have to debate. I mean, does it, should it be all grey, or should it be, I don't know. I think the combination uh, of a grey front and a blue. I think it should be broken blue. up a bit more. Mine, mm. I didn't, you know, I didn't really paint it that well. I just sort of stuck a single interesting color to it but mm. I, I like it a lot i'm gonna have to do my interior tour very soon though yes all right well uh, shall we start with your ship's interior tour and then move on to mine yes let's do that it's probably much more advisable isn't it did you want to come in did you want to come in oh yes yes very much so please okay. leave me inside did you, oh come over here sir i will show you around <laughs> Right, so this area here is just more of like a, 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 you know, if people are coming in to unload supplies and stuff, so they come in here, they drop oh, the supplies nice. off, and it'll be just piled in there. And then hopefully the, the, some people will actually sort out your supplies, unlike some postal services, and then they'll actually <laughs> they'll actually sort it into these crates behind here, and these crates actually oh. run through the ship and supply the rest of the ship with whatever you may need. Now, nice, and they're they're piped up then behind. Uh, they should be piped up. Yes, most of them are. Well, one, nice. one or two of them might not be piped up, but that's probably needs to be done. So up through here right. is um, the misleading. Like I like to have misleading ways up to the command module. So we just yes. slide up here. So yeah. we come yeah. into the lower area. Oh, what was this? Oh, it's just an open space. Never mind. All the way up, I am. Oh shit! Sure. I, I just deleted the staircase by mistake. But All right. <laughs> from from the staircase, we come into the command room. The command room has no lights in because I think if you put lights in, it kind of silhouettes everyone up here. 
Yeah. And they're all, they all kind of like stand out and you're like, oh look, there's people running around in there. Mm. So, so like in the Alien Encounter movies, you have the lights, you have no lights, so it looks more oh. so badass. And, and luckily there's not much to stub your toe on. Yes, there's so. not much to stub your toe, unless you fall down the hole in the middle with the staircase. Ah, well, in which case you'll probably just break your so neck. So let's hop down anyway. Oh, what else is on this floor? There's, I see some supply crates here. Yes, this, that's just like a basic little supply office room. Nothing ah, too fancy. Right. So okay, so all the way back down the world we Yeah, all the way back through. So there's only one right. way up, and I think that's quite a nice little choke point, you know, for people trying to get in. All right. And if you'll come and meet you back down here. We can run no, around. I'm behind you. I keep forgetting that. Yeah, um, and basically, if we drop down one of these little chutes. Whoosh, all right. Uh, we come into the fighter base. So this is one of the fighter Ooh. bases here. So, um, what I was trying to work out as well is that, you know, like, if you fill up it down here with your fighters, you need, like, some more extras to store them, so I've just, like, made this empty tunnel here, just where you could put all your fighters to stretch them along here, and as you need them, you just drop them down into the tunnel below, and then off you go, and then you just rearm and repair them upstairs. So, also, we have in here, we have the different little, these little observation doors, so if someone wants to notice what's going on in the hangar, or maybe someone's breached into your hangar, you could shoot out one of these oh. windows. Very cool. Down so if I was to open these, yeah, exactly. where do these lead? Uh, so these let's see. Or are we going to get to these later? Uh, we can get to them later. We'll, it will, All right. we'll, we'll go down and use the main corridor to get to them. So if we hop down here and we go down into the main corridor, we have the main corridor that spans all the way up to your ship but down there and all the way to the end of my ship here. So we'll just have a quick visit to the Very engine nice. room. Okay. So here's the engine room. This this is a bit of a misleading engine room. This is just the main four generators. The rest of the stuff is behind this wall here in an emergency sort of uh, access. So they're all connected. Ah, I see up. a few lights glitching through. Very interesting. Um, and so hope because I don't like showing too much engine room. It just it doesn't. It's, it's not right. So, good. so if we um, sprint down here, we've got some different modules that should link up, and then we've got the staircase that takes us to the catwalk above. Already. And this catwalk just observes here, and you can also observe the um, fighters taking on and off. Ah, I see. Very so you good. You can witness your fighters going and leaving the hangar. And also have a nice overlook of the whole exactly. main hallway. So, Very cool. Uh, that is pretty much it, if I believe so. Um, Alright. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's the All right, shall, Well, shall we move on to my ship? Let's then? move on to yours. Right, Captain. I'm in my captain's seat. I believe you should get in another seat, sir. Alright, I've got Alrighty. all the detectors are set to fall. Okay, let's go oh, ahead I'm and red convert as well. the ship. I'm like, it's like I'm Scotty. <laughs> convert the ship, ready? Convert the ship, do it. <laughs> 3,839,000 thousand triangles. Convert, convert the, the ship. ship. Oh. oh. I think it worked. Did I think it? it worked. We're not dead. We're not dead yet. We lost okay, the gravity. Going forward. We lost the gravity. Oh no, no, that's because probably I'm outside. Is, are we moving? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're moving. I'm, I'm pressing W. VR accelerating. Oh my god, we're actually moving. We're moving. At some speed as well. <laughs> it's not half bad for such a huge ship. We are 38,000 <laughs> in mass. Wait, no, 38 million, sorry. <laughs> Captain, the engine can't handle it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's all gone wrong. <laughs> oh, we turned it we as well, though. turned pretty well, too. Oh, my God. This is a really Holy good ship. Holy crap. I'm amazed. Hold on. I think you did something, didn't you? Oh, no, you didn't. I thought we had a working weapon system. I was going to try to fire a few missiles, but it doesn't show up. Oh, no. It's good. It's on a turret. Oh, get on the turret. You go back there to the turret. Go, I'm go, going, go. I'm going. I'm going. Oh, no. I might I might get stuck between, <laughs> stuck on something on the way back. Hurry. Hold on. Hold on. We got, like, I'm on, like, five frames. It's going to be, like, a, a oh. like, it's gonna be like a, a slideshow for whoever's watching. <laughs> It's actually handling pretty well. I got a little tin frames. Slow down. Okay, uh, okay, I'm breaking. breaking. She's breaking. not made for this, Captain. She can't handle it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm in a turret. Oh, oh. is it working? Uh, well, it's. Well, it, it can pretend to. Oh, 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 you're lagging. Oh no. This is not gonna end well, is it? No, probably not. I'm gonna start. Oh moving. my god, I'll find it. <laughs> I saw it. Barely, but I did. Oh no, this can't be it. This is not going to end well. Uh, I'm kind of eating the back part. Fire oh. the cannon! Oh. Oh. Fire! 
Well, the reserve cockpit is going to act as a blocker now for, for me. Oh. <laughs> a fire! Only seconds left. <laughs> yeah, you're starting to hit the... Oh, God. Look at that. Look at that rapid fire, though. That's a, that's a oh, successful... Oh, it's working. Not very high frames, but it's, it's still... No, it's... not very high frames at all, but it's God, imagine a, imagine a large ship battle. That'd be... Cr what the hell? What God, happened? with big cannons like that. We've, I've lost uh, did all you power. Just connect? I've lost well, all power. I think you've lost all power... Oh, because I'm the merging. turret is being eaten by the back bridge. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, oh, you're coming free. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm, I'm trapped in here, Sage. It's coming at me. Oh, the walls God. Are... <laughs> here, I'll accelerate more. Maybe that No, will... please stop. Acceleration. <laughs> oh, my God. How is that helping? Oh, I'm inside the bridge now. Well, well, on the, oh. on the bonus, the bridge now has an extra turret. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm outside. All right, you got that out of the a, ship. That is a pretty awesome ship, to be honest. That needs to be put in the workshop. I am amazed that that worked. That needs to be put in the workshop. It's that Alrighty. good. Already, this, this is like amazing. This is like a really good ship. There's only one part that I've I've got a debatable question about. It's where they connect underneath. Yeah. yeah, I think it actually works all right if you fly down underneath. Because I filled in the open gaps, it looks a little bit. You know, we could smooth it a bit, but I think it's actually all right. Especially if we were able to stick engines in there, it would just look like a bit of an extra booster coming off of the uh, docking area. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and make sure you go over and check out Sage's video. He's got a full interior tour of his ship, and it is quite amazing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.